Well, folks, we got her boat bowed in. There's my truck right there. I skipped that part of it. Didn't take but a second. But there's Mama Sue, or Sue Bob. We call her boat. She's holding the rope right there. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Let me let y'all in on something. Her personal best catfish, and I remember when she caught it, like I said, about a five-pound channel cat. She hollers and screams over a crappie or a big bluegill or, or a bass a couple pounds. She don't have no idea how hard these blue cat fight. She has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sue Bob. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sides hurting. Sides hurting. Sides hurting. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. Okay. We made it. <laughs> All right, folks. We got a couple miles down or up the river where we're going to catch us some blue cats. <laughs> oh, man, it's a pretty day. Overcast, I think the high is going to get around 70 today. So this is the prettiest day we've had in a while. I just hope it stays overcast. Catfish, especially blues, bite a lot better if it's overcast, in my opinion. Woo. All right, folks, this is what we're gonna use for bait right here. Uh, I didn't cut the bag, let the air out of it. This is a skipjack heron. Uh, I caught them oh, a few days back. They're fresh. And what I'm gonna do is cut them across like this. Right here, that's the way these fish has been biting. They've been biting from right, not biting the head for some reason. Usually they do, but They've been biting little cross pieces like this. Okay, folks, we got a little deal right here and I'll explain it to you. But first of all, this is a seven ounce Gamma Gatsu circle hook. Now, they, this is about the size of baits I've been catching fish on, not big ones at all, because the surface temperature is still at 62 degrees, so it don't take a real big bait. Now, right here is how I I cross cut it like that. This is the stomach cavity. I'll take and hook it just like that. The reason why is because that's tough. That's a lot tougher than you may think. And another thing is you have a lot of hook exposure right there. Now this is 40 pound test leader right here. Um, it's trilene, trilene big game leader. Okay, I have a barrel swivel right there, a bead, and an ounce and a half of weight. Now, I usually don't use braid, but I am today because there's no rocks in here to speak of. Now, if I were to be fishing for flathead catfish on rock piles, I wouldn't be using braid, but this is 40-pound test braid. I'm anchored in 28 feet of water, and I'm going to throw into about 32 with this short cast right there. Well, really a long cast. Now, I found a hole in the actual river. And, and the hole is about six foot deeper than the average depth of the river in that section of river. And these fish are relating to this hole. Um, it's a migratory route, I assume, for pre-spawn blues. Huh? Get him! Honey. Get him! Honey, 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 honey. Get him! Get him! Honey. Honey. Oh, 
<laughs> it ain't that big of a catfish. You'd have that rod boat double. I'm not kidding. He's tugging. Well, then it's your fish. Uh, you going to catch one bigger than five pounds. He's not wore out. He's going back out there, honey. He ain't that big. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a little bitty blue cat. Goodness. That's a little bitty one. What are you gonna do when you hook a big one? You know I'm not used to this. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, he's, he's he ain't that out. big. He ain't that big. He's not wore out. Sue Bob, let him wear down. It ain't no big deal. He's not wore out. Well, he will be in a minute. That's just a little bitty one. Oh, no, get him on up here. Get him on up here. Years, honey. Get, get him up here. That's a little bitty thing. Oh, my goodness. Well, rail him up so I can... He's, he oh, rolling? my goodness. Why is he rolling? Because he's a catfish. But reel him on in here so I'm bait up. We, well, maybe I'm we can catch him. a big one. I'm not used to catfish. I'm what? Used... It's just a fish. Used... Oh, my goodness. He is stout. Well, bring him on in here so I can let the little fella. That's a baby. I mean, that's a little bitty thing. My goodness. You'd be in... <laughs> oh, my goodness. You'd be in bad shape if you caught a big one. Oh, my muscle hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and then let him go. <laughs> he won't fend me, will he? Well, when they're this size, he could. Oh. Yeah, their fins are sharp when they're that little. I don't want, oh. to, I don't want to be fined. Well, I'm going to let him go then. Okay. He's not... He's probably four and a half pounds. I believe you caught a channel one time bigger than that. Look at his eyes. I don't remember it. It's been so long ago. I must have been a young in then. But that's a good eating size if you're out to eat them. Look how he's scarred up. Yeah, catfish gets all scarred up. Let's let him go. Let's see if we can catch a bigger one. Okay. But... I'm scared. If you catch a big one, we're in trouble, <laughs> Sue Bob. Because you're going to have to handle it. Cause no, I'm not going to handle it. No, scout, honey. this is your your deal here. Look here, Lisa. Get him, oh, folks. That takedown was quick. Get him now. Honey, you was going to set the hook. No, it, it is set. He didn't set it. Goodness, Richard. Uh -huh. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even reel. What? Just fight him. How? Just holding the rod? Just hold the rod. Now move this one out of the way. I I didn't think, folks, to tell you the truth, as many fish as me and my wife has caught through the years before YouTube. That she would be so... This is catfish. Well, put some... Make sure your rod's got a bow in it. Oh, my goodness. Put it's some more horse. pressure. Put more pressure on him than that. It's a horse, honey. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? There ain't but one way to break oh you, personal... Oh, my goodness, Richard. <laughs> Richard, my hand hurts. What? Oh my goodness, Richard, it's a horse. We'll get him. Honey, it's I haven't done catfish that much. Well, it's just the same way. I'm a panfish woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what a monster. Oh my goodness, Richard. <laughs> well, there ain't but one way to do it, and let's do it. <laughs> I'm having fun, folks. Folks, I'm having to take over because my baby doll's hand froze up, but I'm going to tell you what. I have determined. I've been fighting him for about five minutes or so. This is a big flathead. That's exactly what this is. It's a big flathead. He wants to stay straight down and on the bottom. And that's typical of a flathead. I didn't, I knew it was a big fish, but I didn't realize it was this big. This is a monster. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> you know. Now I know. I've been through this a lot of times. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. 
we've been on this fish for around 30 minutes. But I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on him because I want to put him in a boat. I don't want to take a chance. But I'm thinking it's a big flathead. That's the way he's fighting right now. I mean a big flathead. When I get him about six, eight, ten feet off the bottom, what he does is he goes right back down to the bottom. I'll, when I gain line on him, he goes back to the bottom again. And I can't do anything about it. So, on a fish like this with 30 pound tackle, what you do, you can wear them out in this current, but you have to be very, very particular. You're taking an inch or two at a time. Well, I took about five or six that time. I can feel him doing this with his head. And as he's doing that, I'm putting pressure on him and I'm taking a couple inches. That's all you can do. Oh my goodness, what a fish. Y'all see him? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a monster. That right there. Uh, now I know why you hand was getting sore hon yes. I'm sore all over right now there he goes he's gonna delve back dead gone him he's diving back folks ain't nothing I do about it <laughs> he's a monster ain't it <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to get him alongside the boat He's about wore out. I got him. Got him. Golly. Oh my no, my, folks, that is Mama Sue's personal best. <laughs> I'm going to let you claim that. This was your claim. <laughs> my goodness <laughs> that fish is I don't know what it weighs it's a shame I ain't got scales but it's huge folks it's huge <clears throat> Lisa have you got all that in frame yes that's a big fish that is a big flathead <laughs> that's got to be my personal best folks now, I'm pretty stout, but that was all I could do to hold that fish up. Here's a, a bottom view. Look how... <coughs> you ready, Lisa? Yeah. Look how... Got that? Uh-huh. <coughs> okay. Oh. And here's the front view. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks, let's get him back. Get a shot of that big mouth, please. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get him back over here. Ah, follow me right here. Hi, <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> We're going to revive him. <clears throat> right here. Woo. Let me get some. We took a picture of him. He's out of the water not very long at all. He'll be ready to go right here in a minute. That is a big fish. My goodness. All right. There he goes. <sighs> See if we can follow him. There he goes. He kicked off right then, folks. I don't know if y'all could see that account of the glare on the water, but Woo! <laughs> that was a job, wasn't it? All right, folks, we're going to call it a day. It's starting to get dark. Catfish didn't bite till right here at the last, and we, we caught. I tell you, I don't know how long it took to land that fish, but it was a battle. I didn't think we was ever going to get it done. It took a lot of teamwork, and I'm going to call that Mama Sue's fish. I'm just, I'm going to. That fish was extremely powerful. 30 pound test line, well, was a little small in this current, but we got it done. 
I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and to remember, go fishing when you can, fuck all this good for you.